what's up? So, um, I pulled up, um, right here, actually, sorry, right here is, uh, going to be your formula. It's actually pretty, pretty simple once you, uh, recognize what you're looking for. So let's just look at what the problem is asking for first. So you need, you much, uh, how much would you need to deposit in an account? Um, so it's asking for the initial value and we see that right here is one of the variables. So P is that we're going to be looking for. So P is our question mark. Um, let's go ahead and look at what is already given. So we want to get a total of 4,000. So our final amount equals $4,000. And we want to get this in 10 years. So the number of periods is going to be 10. Um, assume that the count is interest rate is 8%. The interest rate here is going to be the variable R which is going to be point, we're going to denote that as 0 0.08. And then it's going to be compounded semi-annually, which means twice a year. So the number of times per year is two. All right, so we have all the variables except for what we need. So we simply just need to rearrange. So that's what I'm going to do first before we even plug it in. I'm actually going to take all of this and move it underneath A so we can get P by itself, because that's what we want. So. We got one plus R over N, so N T, which now we can just go ahead and plug in our numbers. We got one plus um, 0 0.08 over two times um, N times T, that's 20. And I actually already calculated in my calculator. It's going to be $1,825, and let's just round it up to 55 cents. And this right here is your answer. Hope uh, that makes sense. Maybe if you have any questions.